well, that's long. <laughs> that's what she said. Raxperts, your head is full of them. What up, witches? Welcome back to another Transfiguration episode. If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Carolyn. Welcome to my Baha'i or home in Tagalog. I really love doing renovation videos. I love decorating. I love transformations. If you like those kind of videos and if you like Harry Potter, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join our online community. In today's episode, we're going to be working on another bedroom. Yes, another bedroom. There are four total bedrooms in the house. One is my mom's, one is mine, which you've seen. That was the master bedroom, the first one that we did. The second one, the most recent one, was Julie's. And now we're going to be working on a bedroom for my in-laws. Today's video is extra magical because it is in collaboration with one of my main witches, Frances. Like me, she is a Hogwarts alumni. She just bought a new home and will be transfiguring a dinosaur themed room for her eldest son over on her channel, which I will link below in the description box for you. She also makes a lifestyle and cleaning videos for those of you who may need some motivation to scorchify your house. If you love my content, I really believe that you will love Francis's videos as well. If you're ready for transfiguration class, grab your wand and let's go. Here is the overview of the room. This was actually my room before I moved into the master with Michael, which is why it doesn't look as primitive, I guess you could say, as the other rooms did. It's empty right now, but oh my god, it was so cluttered in here because we moved all the junk from all the other rooms we were working on in here. I didn't film us clearing it out, but here is a quick look at the mess that lived in here. My glass was always half empty, but now you're in As usual, Michael is here to assist me with popcorn scraping prep. I cannot wait until we are entirely rid of cottage cheese is feeling in this house. It traps dust, spiders love to weave their webs on it, and it's just plain ugly, and it just, it serves no purpose. A lot of you wonder why I will normally show us painting the ceiling, but not the actual scraping, and that's because it's just way too dusty. When we scraped the ceiling for the first time ever in our living room, we underestimated how far the dust would travel. We didn't tape it off with plastic like you see us do in all our videos now, so it just went everywhere. The living room is on the second floor in our house, but every room in our tri-level home had a thick layer of dust. So to save my camera and to save our lungs, we tape off the room with plastic so no one can enter until it's done. But don't worry, we leave a window open and always have a respirator on hand. I love, love, love the color gray, which is why my room, office, and Julie's room are all the same color. But for Michael's parents' room, I wanted to switch it up to a, more of a beige tone. Still neutral and light, but more there vibe. watched my get to know me video I mentioned that, that after 19 years of sharing a room with my grandpa I finally got my own room that I had this perpetual need to constantly redecorate yeah this is the room I was talking about I wish I had footage of the dirty white walls and the green camouflage print shag carpet it was horrendous
let's talk about this floor. The idea of it was nice, but the quality of it just wasn't there. This is a vinyl tile that sticks directly to the subfloor, but it doesn't stay stuck for very long. I was so happy when I found another type of flooring to work with because I really didn't want to have to pay someone to install it. This is a vinyl plank flooring with grip strip technology that sticks to each plank instead of sticking to the floor itself. I love this flooring, we use it all over the house, I raved about it in all of my room transfiguration videos that I have made thus far, and how cool is it that you can just install it right over the old floor. I'm wrapped around his finger but he is mine, don't care what they say to let anyway, why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood Then he, he knows how to make it all right Yeah, I get that, he got a history But I don't wanna think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. In case you're wondering what's on my iPad, it is Harry Potter, of course I almost always have a movie or show playing in the background while I'm working But it has to be something I've already seen or I won't concentrate on what I'm doing it's 95% of the time Harry Potter, but once in a while I switch it to my favorite anime like My Hero Academia or Sailor Moon. English dub of course because I can't read subtitles and work at the same time. Yeah, he's got a bad history, but I want him anyway. So look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. But what about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Truthfully, this floor is really easy to install, but I'm not gonna lie, my back gets sore every single time I have to install it in your room. We're just trying to, uh, okay. If you are interested in a DIY tutorial on this flooring, check out Room Transfiguration episode number 3 where we worked on my Sterloff's room for all the details. I'll link it on screen somewhere for you and I'll leave a playlist in the description box for those of you craving more magical makeovers. Now that the floor is all done, we can move on to the new baseboards, which Michael is ever so kindly installing for me. I love you, man. Baseboards are actually not hard at all to install, and if you don't have a saw, I believe that Home Depot or Lowe's will happily cut them for you if you have your measurements, and of course if you bought your materials from them. We are not professionals by any means, but if you want more details on how we personally installed our boards, check out my first room makeover video where I talk about the tools and techniques that we used. It may not 
not seem like a huge detail, but little things like a fresh coat of paint, changing out your outlets or light switches, really give a room a clean and modern look. Decorating, yas, the best part, honestly, because hello, less labor, well, for me at least, because Michael is installing two sets of curtains, a set of blackout curtains for the window, and some extra long ones for the closet. Because of how small this room is, the majority of the decor I chose was based on functionality. We installed curtains because doors would mean less space in the closet. I switched out all the hangers to make sure there was enough room for Michael's parents' clothes. We added hooks so we could utilize the walls as more storage space. Cube shelves with fabric cubes which doubled as a TV stand or a nightstand and a corner shelf that could be a home for smaller items. We even got new laundry baskets to make sure we could fit everything comfortably in the room without taking away from the walk-in space. storage, we picked up this six drawer mound dresser from Ikea a while back that will live in the bottom half of the closet. but I scored this queen size tufted bed frame from Facebook Marketplace for free. Yes, girl, free. Michael's mom would always tell me, you don't need to buy a new bed for us. We already have one. And I didn't lie. I didn't buy it. It was free. So if it's free, why not? I did buy this palm leaf comforter sheet set though from omalwork.com and it was only $19. because mom and dad are originally from the Philippines. They have been in the U.S. for quite some time now, but the Philippines will always be their home. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. Back when we fixed up our room, Michael's mom and dad really loved the USB bedside lamps that I got on Amazon. So of course, I got them their own too. I have inserted this clip purely for the purpose of proving to you guys that I really did build these cube shelf and knife stands. I didn't think you'd believe me otherwise, but anyway, here's the final look. This room turned out so good. I really wanted to create this space for Michael's parents because they were so kind and understanding when Michael moved in with me, which is usually a big no-no in our culture if you're not married. 
but they made an exception since I really needed him to help me with my grandpa's 24 hour care. Not to mention they created my one true love, so you know. did get their reaction on film, so I'll insert that clip for you right here. Oh my. Hello. Oh my. Hi. Hi. Nice. Thank you. Can you believe this bed was free? I'm speechless. Uh, mm. It's like a hotel. <laughs> Most people I know would not be so excited to live with their in-laws, but not me. I am so thankful to them, I love them, it has really been so surreal living with a mom and a dad for the first time in my life. I was raised by my grandpa and that was all I knew. Thank you all so much for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for new videos, and don't forget to head over to Francis's channel to check out her room transfiguration. Please share this video with someone you want to inspire. See you next time.